NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, it's going to feel like summer this week and into next weekend for sure. Yeah, we have humidity coming back. We got a nice break for a few days, mm -hmm. especially in the midsummer. Uh, it was certainly a gem. Yeah. We, we enjoyed it. But uh, it's coming back the next three days or so. We also have some pretty big time heat on the way, but that really doesn't get in here till late this upcoming weekend. I think Sunday, probably Monday of next week, we're close to 90 degrees. So uh, that's how things are looking in the big picture here. Some of our headlines, though, uh, is that we do have a few showers and storms coming through overnight tonight and the next three days, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, you'll definitely feel an increase in humidity. It'll be quite sticky. Each of those days we do track some showers and thunderstorms and then heading into the weekend we're drier. So a lot of sunshine for Saturday and Sunday, but we are turning hotter again, especially come Sunday. So here's storm tracker. You can see across the northeast a lot of wet weather right now, especially into Pennsylvania and central New York state. Lots of showers and into our region. We're seeing a few isolated downpours and storms. The cloud cover has really thickened up over the course of the evening as well. So we're seeing some uh, downpours coming into northern New York right now, a heavier cell coming into Malone with some heavy rain, a couple lightning strikes north of Saranac Lake, seeing a downpour as well, scooting off to the north and east. We have this cluster of some uh, heavier rain with a few lightning strikes into north central Vermont towards Stowe and Morristown, Worcester, Vermont, Hardwick and Craftsbury as well. And then southern Vermont, we've seen some heavier cells firing off with some heavy rain and a few lightning strikes towards Rochester, Granville, Randolph and towards Stockbridge and Killington. These are all moving towards the north. So temperature wise right now we're still pretty mild upper 60s and lower 70s. Now at 1118 you can see our dew points have really pushed into the 60s. So that higher humidity has been surging in this evening and we'll keep the uh, the humid conditions around into Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Notice all of those days have our chances for showers and storms as well. But as we look ahead to Friday and the weekend, looks like we see some relief from the humidity. So we'll have the passing downpours and a few rumbles of thunder through the overnight. Tomorrow morning, lots of clouds, some scattered showers as well, especially for the Champlain Valley points south and east from there. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll mix in more sun, but we'll watch for a few isolated showers and storms to bubble up for your Tuesday afternoon. On Wednesday in the morning, mostly dry, sun mixes with clouds. Wednesday afternoon, we'll watch for some more scattered downpours and thunderstorms to fire off. Looks like especially into northern New York in particular. Wednesday night, a few downpours and storms around into Vermont. And then you can see on Thursday, we may have a quick shower first thing in the morning, but Thursday afternoon when we manage some more breaks of sun, we'll see a few scattered showers and storms firing off yet again, especially for Vermont and New Hampshire, as we'll have a cold front pushing through. So I want to show you rainfall totals through Wednesday night. You can see some isolated pockets of one to two inches plus. I think given that this is spread out over a couple of days, the flood potential is quite low the next couple of days, but some very localized pockets of flooding can't be ruled out for both Tuesday and Wednesday. So just keep that in mind. Again, the next few days we have some higher humidity and the daily chance really for showers and storms Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Friday though nicer, partly sunny, just a spot shower. And for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, both having lots of sun, low 80s for Saturday, close to 90 on Sunday. Liz?